What's up guys, it's your girl Jay here and I am back for another video and I am makeup free today. I am. If you saw me in this outfit, if that's because I am filming today, I filmed another video that came up before this one. But I made a suggestion in one of my previous videos of me doing this and I've seen like what's in my bag, what's in my gym bag. Um, my monthly purse and stuff like that. Like a few years ago when it used to be what's in my bag, that used to be a really big thing with a lot of these women, like with like big name brand thousand dollar type bags and like what's in their bag. And I've seen some fitness people with like what's in my gym bag. But I've never seen anybody that done sports do this type of um, unbagging. And it is because it's right here by my side of what? in my softball bag um this is the bag i take with me when i play softball um during the summer i'm on the team the flamingos and i thought i would share with y'all guys what's in my softball bag that i will be taking with me every single game that i go to um please forgive all the ambulance and stuff like that i live in new york city and ambulance and fire trucks and police cars are not a normal thing, but it's very annoying when it happens. So let's get on to, matter of fact, how about this, a call to action. If you haven't already done so, please, before this video even starts, like up this video for like a new thing that I'm doing. I think I'm doing it. I haven't seen this on a YT. I like this idea. What's in my athletic bag? Like, do you play basketball? Do you play like tennis? Do you play softball? Do you play... Are you martial arts? Like, are you jujitsu? Like, are you MMA? Like, what's in your athletic bag? Thumbs up this video. And if, if you haven't already done so, if you want to be part of the J Squad, please hit that subscribe button and it is right there. So let's get on to what's in my softball bag. The first thing I will be pulling out are these. These, there's two of them are these i just bought these what, a few weeks ago and these are arms um basketball arm sleeves if you haven't already known and if you're not subscribed to my channel i am a dsg vertical sleeve gastrectomy weight loss patient i am almost two years post-op june 3rd and i've lost over 140 something pounds so far so i have loose skin and a lot of my loose skin some of it is in the arms. Um, if you can see, if I shaved <laughs> like a few, but you see all that, yeah, not very unattractive. But that is one of the downsides of weight loss surgery is if you have fatty muscle, like fatty tissue every like in places, um, and even here. Um, but that could sometimes be toned up by um by um weight training but this part like that part right there that is not tonable um whatsoever and as you can see it's connected like to like connected to there um but yeah this arm these bat wings get are very intrusive when it comes to like throwing the ball so i decided so i thought i thought to get some arm sleeves I played with these when we had our scrimmage game, but you know, the thing is, the left one, I'm a righty, so I throw with my right hand, I catch with my left, because I'm the catcher. The left arm sleeve stays up perfectly. The right one, not so much. So I might have to go to a surgical supply store and see if I can get compression sleeves with a back attachment to it so they can stay up when I play softball. But um, you've seen LeBron James wear these, you've seen basketball players wear these. Um, not really so much softball players because they kind of have small arms to begin with, but this is what my arm sleeve is for, you see? It's way better, it's not so. But when I was playing with the, the right one, it kept rolling down so I just said bump it take it off and just like deal with the whole arm flap issue it does get in the way when throwing so 
yeah but that's in my bag so i could try to maybe i could try to like sew a uh sew like a really thick fabric to it to try to make a back strap i don't know but this is what's in my softball bag in this bag right here um yeah let's get on to the next one all right the next thing in my softball bag is of course my glove and it has my batting gloves in it these are nike i've had these for a few years like four or five um, these are still good or maybe three or four um they're still good i attach them like so um so they're always together because i'm ocd and everything that i do in my bag and my purse everything has to be nice and neat and when i take all this stuff out it's going right back in nice and neatly um yeah this is my glove i got this this was my second ever glove the first one i had was back like over 10 years ago in high school um, but that one is like so worn. So, uh, that was like high school was 15, 16 years ago. Um, but I've been on this Flamingo team for over 10 years now. And I got this glove the second, my second or third year on the team. So I had this glove for seven, eight years. Um, it's a really good glove. It is a Rollins, which is known in the baseball softball community, but I really, really, really love this glove this is how i always wear my glove i wear my glove with the finger out um with my left um, with my left batting glove um and i catch with this glove plain and simple like nothing does everything is in here i do some like there is not much padding here because this is not a softball catching mitt i never really had a catcher's mitt i always had a regular glove because i had big girl hands and I always, these, I get men gloves because again, I have big girl hands and big girl hands really are not translated well into like women apparel and stuff like women type um, softball stuff and stuff like that. So yeah, these are like my batting gloves. My batting gloves go in the, I guess the bottom part of my gloves. So they're always there. Cause again, I'm OCD in my stuff. And what was in my glove are two small things. Um, I had batting practice a few weeks ago. And when I do batting practice in a cage with the machine, I have a tendency to tear the, um, the skin off my thumbs because of the repetition of me batting. And sometimes I grip hard when I um, bat. So I found out that I tape my thumbs so I won't tear the skin on my thumbs. And also in case the team needs the tape for like to hang up the the, um, the batting order or whatever. And I just also bought new, um, can you see it? There we go. I bought new um, bat grip for my bat um, because it is worn down and I need new bat grip. And as you can see, it is pink. Pink is my favorite color and and it was, I dropped my tape. <laughs> and it was God's will that I'm on the team where the colors is black and pink. So yeah. So speaking of bats, let me show you my bat. It is my second bat. I have another bat, um, but I think it's in storage. But this is Rollins, again with the Rollins, baseball and softball. Um, official here, performance alloy, um, serene three, two and a quarter barrel, official slow pitch softball, um, ASA certified 200. And it is the Renegade. So right there, you can see it's like all banged up. It has the dents and everything. And it is slow pitch. It has the mascot right there. It has the tape to distinguish that is my bat. And as you can see, that is why I bought new grip tape. Look at that grip right there. I didn't, I didn't put it on during batting practice because other girls was using my bat, but it is 34 inches and 30 ounces. I kind of like, can you see that? Right there. I kind of like my bats long and heavy. 
um, because I am somewhat of a power hitter. So yeah, I have another bat, it is red. It is around 30 inches two and around, I think that one's 32 ounces. Maybe it is a little bit heavier than this one, but with the type of swing that I have, I do like this bat. Um, I go for inexpensive bats. This bat only cost me around $30 um, years ago. So, and plus I was in college at the time, I was at Mega Everest, so I had my CUNY discount. And when you're, and when you're a CUNY student, you get 10% off at Models because they're a sponsor of CUNYAC, which is an athletic conference here, a Division Three athletic conference, so. And I think I brought this bat with me too when I was on the softball team, we had it that semester. My first semester at Mega Everest, so. Yeah, I was like the only one that really played softball on the team. So yeah, this is my bat, my trusty bat. Other girls use it if they want a like a heavier type bat because again, this is 30 ounces. So it is heavy. And that is the bat that I will be using with the bat grip as I am still looking for that tape I lost. To my catcher's equipment, I have everything. I have the mask, the the chest plate, and shin guards, but I do not wear the shin guards because it is cost, it is time of, it's time of like, it takes up time when you have to get on the field in a quickness after you just bat it. So in my bag, I just carry, this is a mask that was given to me 10 years ago when I first started on the team. Um, this is a 10 year old mask. It's an over 10 year old mask. Um, yeah, I'm too cheap to get a new one, but I really like it. It's, it's dirty. I wear a head, I wear, because as we can all see, I'm black. My natural hair, I, I don't wash my hair every night or every other night. So I always cover my hair when I, um, catch but um, I think it's time for me to wear, to get a new mask. But this, mm. that's me. <laughs> Every time I play softball during the summer. But imagine me with my glasses. I wear my glasses with this mask and Oh yeah, that is me every summer um, catching for the first four innings. Unless there's not enough girls to like change out positions, then I play a whole game. Um, then I'm like regretting it and cursing at myself, like son of a son of a bee. Da -da 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 -da. My thighs and knees are killing me, but I love being a catcher because it's guaranteed that I get the ball. And to go with my mask, we always need the chest protector. Um, the team gave me money years ago to get a chest protector because they had a female chest protector. Um, and it's and it's Rawlings, um, which is like everything. And I still got this on, it's about to come off. Um, they had a female chest protector with the boob um, cut things in it, but um, my boobs are big and my boobs were not fitting in it and I was bigger. I'm the biggest girl on the team, so they gave me the money from from the from the pot to get my own chest protector, and that's what this is, my own chest protector. Um, these last two years since weight loss surgery, I have been tightening it, but it's an adult. It's an adult pro um, pro, so there's only so much I can tighten it. I guess I can tighten it. Um, from here, but it's really good for now. So I don't have to worry about much about that. But that's my chest protector that I have in my bag of what's in my softball bag. Let's get on. I have like two more things and then I'm done. So yay. <laughs> I carry my book bag with me that has also my wallet and my like medicines that I carry like the ibuprofen, the eye drops, the allergy medicine. And also from time to time I would carry as I look up here I would carry the icy hot if you play sports or if you work out you know you know about the hot day icy um this one is the advanced relief pain relief cream icy hot and 
it's I think I need extra 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 strength icy hot because this doesn't really penetrate the skin unless after you're fresh out of the shower but I would use this for like as you can see like half of the tube is gone because when I played that scrimmage game a few weeks ago I played the whole game as soon as I came home my mother was laughing at me talking about what are you looking for the beginning been gay and I looked at her like shut up and because <laughs> she knew I needed my icy hot um icy hot ben gay tiger bone whatever you want to use when you play sports or you're in athletics of any type weight training whatever icy hot ben gay tiger bomb tylenol aleve motrin this that and the third is your friend when you are athletic so that's what i need this will be going in my bag because i have a game coming up i will be needing that Last but not least of what's in my softball bag is the most essential thing any softball or baseball player need if they play in dirt. Can you guess? Can you guess? That is softball cleats. I finally splurged. Not, well, it's not really a splurge, but I finally got me some new cleats. I've had these cleats, they were Rawlings, I think, or Spalding, I think they were Spalding cleats. And they were, I had them for like six years or so. I had them for a long ass time. And I needed new cleats. I'm a little bit faster on the, I'm a little, little bit faster around the bases now. I need cleats to keep up with me. So, I got me new cleats, y'all. <laughs> new cleats. Um, these are Under Armour. No, I'm not sponsored. And no, they did not come with these gorgeous, gorgeous pink laces. I bought these laces to go with my team colors, which are, like I said before, black and pink. And I forgot the name of these. Don't say the name. But I have big women feet, so these are a men 12, which fit perfectly. Um, they're black. Men cleats don't come in pink, so I have to go with the black and white ones. And I have to customize them with the pink shoelaces. And I really customized them because on the back, I put my, on the back, I put my jersey number, and I put the nickname people call me. Um, my nickname on the team is JJ. Um, my mom calls me Jay. My dad calls me Jay. Stuff. My brother calls my brothers call me Jay or Janae. Um, you guys here on the YT knows me know me as Jay because I always say, "What's up, guys? It's your girl Jay here." And it's just a very simple nickname. Um, yeah, I got my number is 32, and my nickname. So in case I forget, people know. You see the pink shoelaces. You know I'm a flamingo and the number and my nickname. I can't wait to try these. The league I am in is the Prospect Park Women's Softball League and it's an instructional league. I'm, after 10 years on the team, I think I'm still a beginner. That's okay, um, I don't play that often. But um, cleats, you don't have to wear cleats, but if you do cleats, they have to be um, rubber. So these are rubber cleats. And I really love these cleats right here. They're nice, clean, low cut. Um, sometimes I'm a little scared for the mid calf, for the mid ankle cleats, so I always get the low ones. And yeah, these gorge, these bad boys are so gorgeous. I love it. Um, they won't be gorgeous after I play though. They're gonna be dirty and dusty, and that is a rite of passage when it comes to softball cleats. You want your cleats to be, you want your cleats to be like to work, like you worked. So yeah yeah guys that's everything in my softball bag everything from my cleats to the arm um compression sleeves to my catching of the equipment my bat and my gloves and the essential things that you need to play softball um if you really like this video please hit that thumbs up and maybe i might do a what's in my gym bag next as i have to sign up for a gym again 
and it will have to be Planet Fitness because there are more Planet Fitness than there are Blinks. And it is a little a little bit more affordable to get a gold, a black card Planet Fitness where I could go to any other gym around the country than it would be Blink. So yeah, I gotta go back to Planet Fitness. Ugh. But I need to go to the gym. So yeah, that is everything. If you really like this video, please hit that thumbs up. Again, I might do a what's in my gym bag when I get that ready because it's almost like what's in my softball bag, but without all the squirting, like the cleats and stuff, it might be gym sneakers and like my workout clothes or whatever. But um, yeah, hit that thumbs up button. If you haven't already done so, please hit that subscribe button. Become a member of the J Squad. And I don't have a notification button, so you can't be part of the notification squad. And okay, whatever. But, yeah, I will put some related videos, let's see, right here and here. I really don't have any related videos, so I will put a makeup video here and then a weight loss related video there. Right there, makeup, weight loss. That is what I'm about. I'm about some fitness and some weight loss tips. Um, some VSG tips and some makeup tips. That's me. That is Jay in a nutshell. And I have old videos of me singing. So, yeah. I've been on this channel for a while. But I am finally doing something with my channel and I'm loving it. And thank you for being the subscriber to my channel. And again, if you haven't already done so, hit that subscribe button. What are you waiting for? Please be part of the J Squad. I do not bite. I am nice. I am kind. I'm a smart ass sometimes but I am funny at the same time. So with all that being said, guys, be blessed, be safe, and have a good evening, guys. Later.